I came here last year, March 2012. Canada is a beautiful country for sure, yes. It's very safe. There are so, so much opportunities here for, for immigrants like me. On a cold November day, Mayanne Thornton enjoys a warm coffee with a friend. She's been in Canada for almost two years. Um, I was a registered nurse in the Philippines and I worked for seven years. I also worked um, two years in the Middle East before I came here. She can't work as a registered nurse in Canada until she finishes upgrading. She can't start upgrading until she's been in Canada for a year. So she starts school next year in Vancouver. And although she's prepared herself, many others might find it difficult. I hope they would have, they would have Canada would find a way to speed up, you know, uh, the processing for, for immigrants. Like if you want to pursue your profession, I wish they could make it a lot shorter compared to the almost a year that I've waited to just to go back to school and to have all my credentials. I would suggest a lot of our newcomers don't identify as being immigrants or refugees. They're more professional migrants and they want a new job in their new country. It's estimated that about 60,000 immigrants live in Greater Victoria and across the country about one in five Canadians is foreign born according to Statistics Canada. And a majority of newcomers like Thornton come from the Philippines. It's just so hard to adjust with me. You know. Thornton loves Victoria, but it isn't the easiest place to transition into, according to some. Victoria in particular, according to a lot of our newcomers, is really difficult to transition into. And not just because of language, but the Victoria seems to have its own unique culture, and it's very much who you know. Victoria isn't as multicultural as we like to think we are. It is growing, but compared to other places, we have a ways to go. So to make it easier, Fiona Bramble started a magazine tailored to newcomers to Victoria. It has everything from profiles to understanding the lingo used at the doctor's offices to jobs available in the region. For several years, I've been writing um, ESL materials for teachers and students. And about three years ago, I wrote a book for girls and women on an ESL textbook, of course, um, on sort of intimate personal topics that wouldn't normally be discussed in a mixed gender ESL classroom. So last year when she got sick, she had lots of time to think. Bramble came up with the idea of Here Magazine and started working with the Intercultural Association and the Victoria Immigration and Refugee Centre Society to contribute to the magazine along with neighbours and friends. I think that the organizations that we have in town are doing incredible work. <laughs> the magazine launched in early November with the Black Press newspapers. While it is currently only available in Victoria through Verks and the Intercultural Association and some schools, along with the newspapers, Bramble hopes to expand. As for Thornton, she says she's excited and nervous about her new adventure in Vancouver, but she wouldn't have it any other way. This is a beautiful country and I can't, find, I can't imagine myself anywhere else, honestly. In Victoria, I'm Shetta Singh.